Here you can see we have segment AB. I'd like to use my straight edge and compass to construct a square that has all sides that are of length AB. Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to take my straight edge and I need to give myself a nice segment to work from. Now make it plenty long so that you have room to go. All right. Well, I'm going to want to be able to work around on this piece of paper. So let's put A right here. And the first thing I need to do is create the bottom of my square to be the same length as AB. So I'm going to come up here with my compass and I'm going to measure this segment, show my construction mark so that my teacher knows that I measured it. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put a similar construction mark. And now I can tell myself that this is like B and so I now have AB. The next thing I need to do is I need to create two lines that are perpendicular to points A and B to create the sides of my square. I'll measure their lengths later on. So in order to do that, I need to create points equidistant from both sides of A. So I'm going to start with A here and I'm just going to take my compass and put a little construction mark and same distance over on that side and now I have two points on either side of A and I can use those points to create that cat's eye construction so that I have my perpendicular. So I'm going to go down below and come up, keep that same measurement, come over here to that other point that's equidistant, come below, make that nice mark and now what I can do is use my straight edge. I'm going to go through those points of intersection, just like so. Make this plenty long, and I now know that this meets at a right angle. Well now, because I'm working with two compasses, I was able to leave this compass, as you can see, set to the length of AB. So I'm going to come back here to A, and I'm going to mark how long AB would be. So this is not what we would normally do, right? I wouldn't call two points B, but just to help you see that this segment AB and this segment AB are the same length. I'm going to go ahead and call it B, just again for that visual. Now, we need to create another perpendicular over here at B. So do you remember what we did? We took our compass, and the first thing we needed to do was to create two points on either side of B that were equidistant. So there's a point. I keep the same setting over here, another construction mark, and now these two points of intersection are equidistant from B. I'm going to do that cat's eye construction, so here I go, my point, open it more than halfway, start below, come up and make a nice arc, keep the same setting. I'm going to come over here to this point that was equidistant from B, draw the other half of my cat's eye, there we go. Now I'm going to take my straight edge and my writing tool, and I'm going to line up those wonderful intersection points. I'm going to draw again a very nice straight segment. This creates a right angle. So now I've got to measure this segment to again be the length of AB. Again, I'll go back to my other compass. I haven't changed the setting, but let me prove that to you. See how it's the length of AB. So now I'm going to come down here to this B, put in that construction mark, well, since I'm calling this B, how about I come up here and tell you that this is A. And again, I wouldn't really call two points the same name in a picture, but I'm doing it to show you that now this segment is of length AB, this segment is of length AB, and this segment is of length AB. Now the cool thing is, because I have these right angles, and I know that these lengths are congruent, I can go ahead and just take my straight edge and connect these two points of intersection, which I made from my construction marks be before, and I now know that this segment is also of length AB, and I know that these are 90 degree angles, and I have just made a square who has all sides of length AB.